Welcome everyone to Jen's Joyful Kitchen. I'm here to help you cook more meals at home. Healthy meals, right? So cooking with joy and living with balance is what I'm all about. Today I'm going to share with you a quick and easy breakfast idea that you can do in two minutes and it is heart healthy. And I think the biggest thing that I talk to people about is breakfast. A lot of times we don't eat breakfast. Um, because we're running out the door or we want to have, you know, the most sleep we can get. But I really encourage people as a dietitian to eat that breakfast because that breakfast wakes our body up. It helps us manage our weight better, helps us not be eating all day long because we never got that meal. So a quick and easy way to make breakfast is actually with this brand new tool that um, I wanted to share with you. I just got it. It's going to be for sale June 1st, starting June 1st, and it's this nice little tool here. You can see it's a Pampered Chef tool, and this is called the Breakfast Sandwich Maker. So you don't even need the toaster. You don't have to get anything else out as far as equipment. You literally can do it all right in here. So you can see it's got a lid, and then it's got two silicone inserts, a deeper one and a more shallow one and then the big bowl. So in the bowl goes the eggs, and this is great not only for breakfast sandwiches, but I've been making breakfast bowls as well. This is so good and so easy and so quick. So you put your eggs down here, spray it with just a little bit of oil, and I like to use my kitchen spritzer. It's got my own oil in it. I use olive and canola, and just spray it, give it a little bit of that. You could also use some heart healthy um, butter spread so you could do that. So you put your eggs in here. Then if you were going to make a sandwich, you're going to put like your meat in here, for example, like a piece of Canadian bacon, or I've got some fully cooked turkey sausage crumbles. You could also use the turkey sausage um, patty. So that's another option. You're going to put your meat in here. And then in this section, you can put some cheese, if, or not some cheese, I'm sorry, some veggies if you want to, but if you don't want to do that, thanks for watching. Um, you can actually put your English muffin in here. So you cut it in half and just pop it in here. So the whole thing layers together, fits all together just like that. You put the top on and then you pop it in the microwave, generally about a minute. And then you're going to look at it and see if it's ready to go. So easy and so good. Now, if you're going to do a breakfast bowl, for example, what I do is I do, again, my eggs. Do two eggs on the bottom. That's going to give you a good amount of protein for the morning. You need protein in the morning or you kind of munch all day long. Um, and then you just never get full, right? So eggs in the bottom for the breakfast bowl. In the, in the middle silicone deeper um, tray here, you're going to put some type of meat of some sort and also Great for um, like little potatoes, things like that. Like even your, you can get the shredded potatoes from the freezer section or any of those types of potatoes that you can buy from the freezer section that are already pre-done. Just pop them in here with your meat. And then on the top, I like to do spinach, uh, green onions, peppers, even some tomatoes, all kinds of different things that you can put in there. Again, just one minute, check it, see if it needs like 30 more seconds. But either way, once you get it out, you just dump all of those things in and now you have your own personal breakfast bowl without having to purchase the breakfast bowls in the freezer section. You're controlling the ingredients. You're controlling what kind of vegetables, making sure you have vegetables because they don't always include vegetables. And then also you're controlling the type of meat that goes in it. So you can get the lower fat turkey based types of meats or the Canadian bacon versus like the pure sausage, which is a little higher in fat. So you have lots of options. So I'm going to actually show you how to make a breakfast taco and this is a fantastic recipe you can make it in less than two minutes um, and it uses again our breakfast bowl so again this is going to be for sale starting June 1st and if you want one just simply message me and I will put you on a list and we will get this to you as soon as they're ready to start shipping so for this I'm gonna add a little bit of oil and I use my kitchen spritzer so this is a way for me to control what I'm putting in, in, um, in the bottom of my pans, for example, because I can put my own oil in it. So heart healthy oil, like olive and canola, I'm just spraying it, spraying a little bit like, like that. And then I'm going to drop in two eggs. So we're going to do 
you could do one egg if you wanted, but two is a good amount for the morning, so to make sure you have a good amount of protein. When you are actually having breakfast, did you know you need about 25 grams of protein to start with? That's actually what you do need in the morning. We're gonna whisk that together. You do not wanna have yolks in, uh, in the microwave, for example, that haven't been punctured or completely mixed up because they will explode. <laughs> so we don't want that. I'm just whisking mine up. It takes just a moment to do that. So I've got my two eggs in there, that's it. Just sprayed it with a little bit of oil. Put that over here for now. And then I'm going to add some sausage here. I'm just gonna do some of these sausage turkey, turkey sausage crumbles. Now, on the back of the package, here's another tip for you. So on the back of the package, it says a half a cup is the serving size. You do not need a half a cup. <laughs> you could do like a couple tablespoons. That's not even a fourth of a cup. So I'd recommend just doing a little bit for flavor. You don't need a lot. Just add some really good flavor and a little bit of extra protein. Um, for a half a cup, it's actually 10 grams. So for a quarter, it'd be five. So that's actually good. So I've got my sausage in here, my eggs in here. You can see that maybe a little bit there. All right. And then on the top, what I am going to do is actually add a little bit of vegetables. Actually, I'm going to throw that in with my sausage. I'm going to do a little bit of beans in with this. So beans are always good to add a little bit of extra flavor, a little extra fiber, a little extra texture, and then a little bit of spinach. And you don't need a lot of spinach, but you can do, you know, like a quarter cup, which this is a really nice amount to start with. If you want to chop this up more, what I like to do is actually throw it into my manual food processor. So put that, put that in there. And then I'm also going to do a little bit of green onion. And I'm just going to chop that in some bigger chunks, like these, like this size, maybe an inch and a half. But when I put it, put it all in my manual food processor, it just pulverizes it. So this adds some really great flavor. Yes, it's almost done. To, and color and vegetables, of course, to your breakfast taco. So we want to always add vegetables. I know it sometimes seems a little bit odd to have vegetables in the morning for breakfast, but definitely add them. It adds a lot um, flavor and color wise. So just popping those in. These are just going to steam while the egg is cooking itself. So you could also do peppers, you could do um, tomatoes and different things like that. And I do want to add one thing that I forgot to put in, but a little bit of Southwestern seasoning. So Pampered Chef has all of these great seasonings, 25 different seasonings. They're all gluten-free and MSG-free. And this is going to add some extra flavor to make it a little bit more taco-like. This is the Southwestern version. So just like a teaspoon, that's all you really need if you're doing the two eggs. And then pop this on the top. And last but not least, we're actually going to do a tortilla. Now, I have kind of a bigger tortilla here, but you can fold it up like this and then make it fit in here. Now, what I would recommend also, you can get the smaller ones. They fit right in here perfectly. They're like corn tortillas. You can also do your English muffin right on the top. You see how I have that just sitting in there. Um, now my lid. <laughs> here was my lid, okay. So we're gonna pop this in the microwave for a total of, we'll start with one minute, we'll look at it. It takes about two minutes, but it's nice to just look at it after one minute and just stir up the eggs if you need to. So I'm gonna pop this in the microwave. So we've got that going. Now to the top of it, once it's done, super fast and easy, pepper jack cheese. Everybody needs a little pepper jack in their life, right? So just grating some of that. You don't need a ton. But what I usually like to do is I grate up the whole block, and then it's already done. You don't have to worry about doing this every single time. And then I keep it in like a little Ziploc bag or some kind of a bowl that has a tight-fitting lid. And then the other thing I like to add, just because, you know, it's a little extra step that you can do if you have time, is some cilantro. And we will do that. Um, you can simply just cut the cilantro and throw it in, but you could do 
even a finer chop with it with the herb mill. So the, the herb mill, you just throw in your herbs, pre-washed, of course. Basil works. I would cut the basil in half. The basil leaves are very large. Um, cilantro also works. And then parsley is another great one. So we'll just put this over the top as soon as that comes out. But we've got our cheese and our cilantro. That's basically what is going to finish the taco. Um, what I also like to serve with it is some fruit. So when you have your breakfast, you always want to have some fruit with it. We need about two and a half cups of fruit every day. We need about the same amount of vegetables. Two and a half cups of fruits, two and a half cups of vegetables. That's five cups of fruits and vegetables. So if you think about your day, are you getting that much? If not, think about where you can add those into your meals. And I always say, starting with the first meal of the day, making sure that you have, you know, like I've got some blueberries here. Berries are a great one. You could have them pre-sliced, pre-washed um, the night before, throw them in the in kind of a little container for yourself so you know that you're going to eat them. If you have to do the washing and the slicing in the morning and you're running low on time, probably not going to happen. So if you pre-prep, that's even better. Smoothies also are another great thing to, to add that boost of fruits and vegetables as well. So we've got our container here. I'm just going to check on it and see what's happening in there. We've got this all steamed up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I can smell it. Okay. <laughs> Looks like our egg just, is, just needs a little bit, maybe like 30 seconds longer. I'm just going to um, stir it up just a touch. Oh my goodness, that Southwest seasoning on there looks amazing. So we've got that. I'm going to throw it back in the microwave just for a few more seconds and it will finish cooking. do 30 seconds on that and then we'll put our toppings on. It'll be delicious. So yes, going back to making sure you have enough fruits and vegetables all day long. You want to make sure, you know, have some fruit with your breakfast, have some fruits and vegetables with your lunch, have some fruits and vegetables with your evening meal as well. So breakfast tacos, if you're just tuning in, telling you how to make this in two minutes with our brand new product called the Breakfast Sandwich Maker. You can use it to make breakfast sandwiches, breakfast bowls, breakfast tacos in just a couple of minutes in the microwave. It is amazing and it will be actually available for purchase starting June 1st, but I wanted to share it with you because I'm so excited and I think when we're thinking about summer and what we're gonna be doing all summer, we wanna be able to go and do all the things that our nice weather allows us to do while it's nice out. So let this be a tool to help you have your best summer ever. All right, so let me grab a plate. And we'll get this all plated up. I'm grabbing a little bit of a bigger plate here, but unrolling my tortilla shell. Ooh, that's really hot. Okay. Now, again, you can use whatever kind of tortilla shell you want. I would recommend, if you can, get the whole grain version. Ooh, that's super hot. Okay. <laughs> and then get a little bit of a smaller one because then it's a little bit less calories, a little bit less sodium, and you can um, add, to, add to it from there. All right, so I'm going to do my egg first. Put that down in there, just kind of chopping it up. Now you could make up a whole bunch of these, and the way you do that is you actually can use the ceramic egg cooker and this is, you can do up to four eggs in this. You can do the eggs with the Southwest seasoning, cook that up, and then actually mix up the eggs with beans, some sausage, and some other vegetables. Mix that all up, throw it on a whole bunch of tortillas. You can do 12 tortillas with that amount and actually roll them up and throw them in the freezer. So that's also another quick and easy way to have them at the ready because then you can pop them out of the freezer and into the microwave and then into your mouth. All right, so I've got the sausage with the vegetables and the beans, a little bit of that spinach, our onions, and then our we had pinto beans in there. All right, so then we just need some pepper jack cheese. I'm just doing a couple of tablespoons. You don't need a ton of cheese, but it does help it kind of come together and makes it all stick together. 
Plus, cheese is a great source of calcium, so everybody needs more of that. And last but not least, a little bit of cilantro. So I'm just going to um, look at that. This is the herb milk. So you put your fresh, whoop, whoops, okay. <laughs> always something that, always something fun that happens in the kitchen here. <laughs> Got a little too wild, okay. So you just put your herbs in there, and I like a lot of cilantro, so I'm putting it all in there. Now, I had a couple of leaves that fell out, but that's totally fine. So check this out. Doesn't that look great? So you have your tortilla, you have your eggs, two eggs with some Southwest seasoning that I put in there, mix that up. Put that in the bottom of my new breakfast sandwich maker. And then to the center, I did the meat. So I did turkey sausage crumbles, I did beans, spinach, and onions. And then on the top, I folded up my tortilla and put that all together. So this is a fast and easy breakfast. Make this when you're on the go, ready for going to work. Make it throughout the summer, whether it's for breakfast or lunch. <laughs> and you're going to have a really heart-healthy meal. So I really encourage you to think about keeping your heart healthy all summer long, having lots of fruits and vegetables, making sure you're getting 30 minutes of activity every day. That could be a nice brisk walk. It doesn't have to be a run. If you're not a runner, brisk walking is excellent as well. Or just getting out and moving your body, yoga, gardening, all those different types of things. So I hope you've enjoyed this recipe today. And if you have any questions at all, please let me know. I do want you to know this breakfast sandwich maker starts, um, um, is available for sale June 1st. So if you'd like one of your own, please comment and with your email and I will definitely get in touch with you and put you on the list so that you can get it as soon as possible. What a great way to not only feed ourselves, but even have our kids be empowered throughout the summer and making their own healthy breakfast rather than maybe a few other things that they might be choosing. I hope you've enjoyed watching today. And then also too, we have the ceramic egg cooker. This is great for oatmeal, eggs, um, can also do muffins in it too. So any questions, let me know. Go to my website for more information, pamperchef.com slash PWS slash Jen Haugen or jenhaugen.com for more recipes. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.